What is going on guys and girls? Recently, I launched a new website. It is less than a month old and I was able to be able to get over 14 clicks and over 3000 impressions in one day from this brand new website. So in today's video, I'll be showing you exactly how I was able to do so. I did use AI to write the content, but I used a new method, which is allowing me to get much better and faster results on brand new websites. And this is not an expired domain. So as you can see here by the Google Search Console, on Tuesday, April 2nd and 3rd and 4th, the beginning of this month, um, I was getting zero clicks and zero impressions for this specific um, website. I posted about 40 articles on the website and we started to get some impressions um, in mid-May, which is not bad for a brand new website, right? So this website is literally less than a month old. But I found a little bit of a new strategy and I tested it out. And as you can see here on... Um, Wednesday, April 17th, and up to the 19th, which is closer to today's date, which is the 22nd, we were able to get some actual clicks going to the website, and our impressions grew to over 3,000. So went from 31 to over 3,000. So that is obviously a big jump. So I'll be revealing sort of what I did to be able to get this big jump in impressions and a strategy in which you can employ when you're writing content for your website in order to start getting some easy traffic over to your sites. So what exactly did I do to be able to get this big jump in impressions and clicks? Well, what I didn't do is I didn't rely on traditional keyword research metrics, right? When you're getting into a new niche, most people are going to go over to Ahrefs or SEMrush and do keyword research to find a suitable keyword. But what I did was for this specific niche, it is in the real estate slash housing niche here in Canada. What it is, I searched up real estate news today. I actually didn't even necessarily need to search it up because I saw that there was breaking news within this industry on Instagram or on social media. So if let's say you're in a niche, I would follow all of the top blogs, all of the top social media accounts for that niche, whether it be gardening, whether it, um, whether it be trading, whether it be accounting, whatever niche that you're in and whatever niche your website is about, I would make sure that I'm keeping track of the top news for that specific niche. And once you find that there's some news that has a lot of popularity or it's trending at that time, then what you want to do is write an article on that topic. So again, for example, what you can do is you can search up your niche and news today, and you will be able to find some news that's trending. So the best bet is to take a look at some of these um, news websites and you can find some really good ideas here. So for example, um, some trending news is that Canadians can now use a real estate app to find their dream home. This would be a great idea for an article, right? So you can save that. And then let's go ahead and open up another tab here. Now let's find some other news in which we can use. Seven solutions to alleviate Canada's housing crisis. Again, that would be another good topic in which you can write about. So what I would do is let's say there's a new law. Let's say there's a new trending topic. Let's say something's going viral within your niche. Then what I would do is I would find out what that topic is and then write an article on that topic. And that's where you'll be able to see that big spike in um, search traffic. Yes, it may not be um, a spike that's going to be sustainable over a year, like some evergreen topics, but it'll be an easy way for you to start getting um, start getting clicks, start getting impressions over to your website, especially if it's a brand new website. This website that I mentioned before is completely brand new and I was able to get traffic over to the website just by writing on new and trending topics that you know are um, popular within your niche. So once you have an idea of what is trending and what is popular, I'll show you the easiest way in which you can use to write the content. So what we're going to do is we're going to first copy over our information. We're going to head over to ChatGPT and we're going to tell it to concise this information into 300 words. The reason why we chose 300 words is because we'll be using my AI writing tool, which is called wordrocket.ai to write the actual article. This is the tool that I use to write the article that is ranking, that is getting clicks and getting impressions to a brand new website. So the tool definitely works. I'm not just being biased, but it's very easy to use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the one shot blog post template and if you're using the tool and it's not working for some whatever reason you can refresh or log out or log back in into the tool and it will work so what i'm going to do is now i'm going to go ahead and copy over my 300 word concise information about that topic we're going to paste it into this section here which is our business information and then we're going to describe what we would like to write about i'm going to tell it to write an article I told it to write in simple, easy to read tone, write as much as you can, but in your own words, do not plagiarize and include a table. 
So you can actually go ahead and include prompts within this section here. Most people do not know that they can do that, but it actually works really, really well. And then we went ahead and pasted in our content within the second section here, and we're pretty much all good to go. So we can then go ahead and click generate. And as you can see, the AI will start writing our outline and then it will write the full article. So this is the first way in which you can go about writing this content. The second way is you can simply use the playground mode and I can go ahead and copy over all of the information from this website paste it into the playground mode and use a simple prompt by telling it to then, or use my SEO prompts, what tells it to write the outline based upon the information which we provided and then write the full article based upon that outline. Do not plagiarize, write it in your own words and you will be able to get similar results. I just find that if you're writing a lot of content, then this method works the best when you're using a tool like Word Rocket because I can write five, 10 articles in less than an hour and they can be all up-to-date factual um, articles that are trending or popular within my niche and that allows me to have a better chance of actually ranking because of course I'm writing more content so as you can see here the content is coming up pretty good um, we're getting really well formatted content that is popular and this is the type of content that's going to rank the reason why these articles rank and you're able to get a lot of clicks quickly is because we're not using traditional methods. Everyone is going to go ahead and use Ahrefs or SEMrush to find keywords to write about. But if you can actually write a more updated information, information that is trending, information that may not be reflected in those tools to show that there is search traffic, you first of all, you'll have less competitors because less people will be writing about that specific article. So there's less competition, which means you'll be able to rank a little bit higher and get some clicks just from focusing on writing more updated information if it is possible for your specific niche. So here's the full article that we get back. And again, we're using wordrocket.ai. In terms of word count, it is 1700 words, which is really, really good for a factual updated article on a new topic that you cannot necessarily use ChatGPT to write about because it doesn't have that information about that specific topic. So I'm pretty happy with this um, article and you can follow this process repeat this process. And I'm sure if you do this for your niche, you will be able to get some traffic quicker over to your sites, especially if it's a newer site, but you can combine this with writing on more evergreen content. You don't need to write the same content every single time. You can write evergreen content. You can do keyword research, traditional keyword research, and you can combine that with writing more up-to-date information um, with your articles because, or sorry, with your blogs, because that is how you're going to rank in the long term. That's how you're going to be sustainable because Google sees that you're writing a more up-to-date information. You're more of a, you know, an outlet for um, trending news within that niche. And I'm sure that will help your domain authority and help grow your website a little bit faster. So again, if you guys want to try out Word Rocket for yourselves, I will leave a link for the free trial in the description below today's video. It is completely free to use. You can try it out and see if you like it for yourselves. But I hope that you learned something new from today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.